Welcome back to part two of this video series about uh, machining this engine block. In this part, I'm gonna machine this uh, engine half out of this uh, big piece of material. This part has some challenges again to reach in between those two halves. I want to try to do that on the fifth axis too, but first I'm gonna machine the, the part from this way remove most of the material from the outside and inside then I will flip it again on the fixture plate machine most of this and then from the fifth axis I can put it straight up or on an angle to reach those corners drill the oil plug but first let's start with operation one The outside perimeters have been roughed out. I uh, put in a new hand mill for the finishing operations. So let's finish the outside. All the features I could reach from this side on the outside has not been finished. Now I, like I did on the first part, I'm gonna use a big drill to drill uh, a few holes all the way through the stock material. So I can use those holes as plunge, plunge positions for the, for the end mill to rough out the inside and the coolant can drain away easy, easily. Now the majority of the inside also have been roughed out. I created some programs to finish up uh, this side. So let's run it. Op 1 on this uh, part is now also finished. I will get it out of vice, uh, tap the hole so I can mount it to the fixture plate, flip it around and then start work on the other side. For the second operation the part has now been climbed to the fixture plate. <coughs> I set C height again on top of the fixture plate and X and Y is the center of this hole which I machined from the other side so it should be should be accurate enough
op 2 is now also finished the next step in the process I will mount this part <coughs> to the part I previously made uh, and fixture it on the table that I can machine the cylinder connection in the two halves in one setup so this is a nice flat surface between the two parts so the cylinder has a good connection so I will now get it out of vice, prepare it so I can mount it to the other one and then show you how I will machine the cylinder connection. The two halves are now bolted together with the alignment pins inside so that the two parts are like they're gonna be in the final. Now I will hold it in the machine somewhere like this. So this surface is perpendicular or parallel to the table. It will be a little bit of a sketchy setup. You will you will see in the next in the next clip. It worked last time. So just slow slowly mill the connection. Uh, this surface is uh, right now one millimeter uh, higher than it should be. So I have nice uh, material to face off. So this is perfectly flat and the two halves are parallel so let me just mount it to the table and show you how it's gonna look like the two parts are now fixed to the table like I said it's gonna look a little bit sketchy but it's pretty solid like this so this surface is now uh, parallel to the table I use the dial indicator to set it uh, rotation wise and like this uh, parallel to the table so now I need to find a work cornet system offset. Uh, I'm gonna take the center of these faces, then the front side of this faces, which is uh, uh, perpendicular to this face, and I have to set the, the coordinate system one millimeter higher than, uh, compared to the model because there is some extra stock right now. And then just slowly, slowly machine it. Don't put too much pressure on the fixture, and let's make it. Make it. So the roughing operation went well, everything seems to look in place. So now I'm gonna use a small ball end mill to 3D contour the inside smooth and nice. And then I will face off the top side and drill the four mounting holes for the cylinder. I manually tap the holes to hold the cylinder. I use the the drilling head, and put it straight on, straight in line with the hole, so I can I can uh, eyeball the point of the center drill to the back of the tap. So make sure that the tap goes in straight as possible. So now this operation is also done. I kind of get the the two parts uh, away from each other and then mount it back to the to the mounting stand and see how it looked like start to look like a real engine now with a cylinder face mounted machine to I me mean. uh, next step is drill all, all the oil channels for that I'm going to use the fifth axis trunnion to lo to uh, orientate the parts so I can drill those holes easier than Last time I did it manually on the manual mill, so let's see if I can get good use of my fifth axis trunnion to do it. I loaded the part on the fixture in the fifth axis trunnion. It looks quite impressive. I hope everything will go fine and don't ruin two and a half days of work. This is just a small program to rotate the part.
so now with the trunnion I can uh, position the part in the right way so I can drill the two oil channels and from this setup I can also drill the oil uh, drain plug on the bottom all in one setup and I from this position I can instantly mount the next part on it without um, resetting work coordinate systems so let's make a program and really really slow try if it's gonna work out since I don't want to ruin the part so this is how these operations gonna look like I already machined this operation and I, I didn't want to film it because I wanted my full attention on the on the pause button but this is how it looks like when you cut it dry So now that I have a flat surface to begin, I can load in a drill and see if the drill gonna end up here instead of somewhere else. Fingers crossed. All the holes now have been drilled. We drilled the drain plug, the oil, this oil hole to get oil in this chamber from here, and the, the most important one to lubricate the bearing for the crankshaft. So now it's up to the next cutter. The next candidate for the fifth axis is now bolted on. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot drill the oil channels from this side. So first thing I'm going to try is to uh, machine away this area. I still need to uh, machine some pockets here. Uh, finishing the oil fill gap. And then uh, see if I can figure out a way to drill the oil holes because it needs to be on the other side. But this, uh, because this is not flat, I cannot just mount it to the fixture plate in the normal way. So I have to come up with a solution for that or I just need to drill them manually on the manual mill. Not yet decided what, what's, what's best wise. Those five axis moves, they were really awesome. Uh, only the desired effect was not that good. I think there is maybe just a little bit too much play, or or the alignment is not that good, or maybe some settings in Fusion. So I decided to just use the index function and use a, a 3D contour to do the finishing works, which gives a better finish than the five axis simultaneous two path for my machine um, so I just gonna stick for that method for the other pockets I need to machine on this side just rotate the part in the right angle and then just do a stationary 3D machining
machining on the fifth axis on this car is now finished. The oil holes I will drill manually I guess because I cannot reach them from this side. But I managed to machine those pockets, the bottom one here and uh, this way I machine the oil oil plug so <coughs> almost done and then it's almost time to fit in the bearings and see if all the shafts fit I just drilled the first uh, oil hole manually it's always quite nerve-wracking so I have to make sure that everything is set up properly so the, the, the drill ends up where it should be and luckily luck was on my side this time again so the most difficult one is now drilled now I need to drill a small hole here to this bearing side and from this point also to the bottom of there I'm now about to drill the last hole uh, first I have to start it with an end mill to create a flat on an angle so the drill can start from there it's quite a tricky hole because it needs to go quite deep and need to exit there somewhere around in the corner so hope it's all set up well I already machined the flat now time to put in the drill and drill the hole for drilling this hole I need to use a quite long drill because there is not a lot of clearance on this side so let's see how it goes it's a little bit hard to see on the video but I made it the hole is just there in the corner nice so all the holes now been drilled next up uh, make a bronze bushing for the other cutter half and, and some small steel shaft pins that needs to be press fit inside the two halves now have been mounted together with the shafts inside everything lined up properly and there is enough play in the shafts in this direction which can be shimmed out I had some troubles with the previous engine on this that it was too tight and I had to remachine some uh, bearing surfaces so lessons learned this time it fitted better so this will be the end for this part on the next part I'm gonna work on the clutch cover and then we can finally final assemble everything and probably also making the ignition cover and that should give us a completed engine which hopefully run just as smooth as the previous one. Thanks for watching and see you guys hopefully on the next part.